Hey, look at this creature on your screen. Does it seem unfamiliar? Do the features it possess amaze you? Did you know that this is a creature that lives completely underwater? And now you're confused, aren't you? I understand because so am I. But be calm because the set of feet it has is entirely standard. And in fact, this particular odd physical appearance of this fish is its true highlight, making it even more special than the rest. That's right, fish keepers. Some of you might have seen this before. However, I bet most of you haven't encountered this salamander in your entire life. Well, maybe in Minecraft if you play that. You're in for a treat today, as I would not let you leave YouTube without helping you know them better in this video. Because today we will tackle a lot about the salamander known as the axolotl and how to set up a tank that will suit them well. Join me for this topic to remember here at Aquarium Store Depot. Ambistona mexicanum is the scientific name of this oddly gorgeous creature. Sometimes aquarists call it a Mexican walking fish, a Mexican salamander, or a Mexican axolotl. And from their common name, we can track down that these fish were first discovered in some lakes, including Lake Xochimilco underneath Mexico City. These creatures will provide you with up to 15 years of cuteness if they're correctly cared for. So if you have a long-term commitment mantra, this one is destined for you. Dark brown with black speckles is the typical color of adult axolotls. You can anticipate seeing black gills spreading from both sides of the head since they remain aquatic. Mexican walking fish have rather lengthy tails, but in contrast, their legs and feet are short. A fin runs down the spine from the end of the seat to the back of the skull. Another lower fin should be seen, going from the back legs to the tail's tip. Make sure your tank is large enough to fit the size of your adult axolotls because they grow to an average length of approximately 9 inches and can reach about 12 inches. These creatures' ability to regenerate cut-off limbs is amazing. For this reason, scientific research on Mexican walking fish has gained much popularity. Now I have a fun fact. Did you know that the axolotl is said to stay in its larval stage? Yep, they are given the ultimate power from the divine transcendent to have eternal youth. And as a result, axolotls are known as neotenic salamanders since they will never change into adult forms. Yet this implies that an axolotl will never step foot on land and must thus be kept in an entirely aquatic environment. The physical appearance of an axolotl embodies aggressiveness, but Ambistoma mexicanum is a peaceful pet. Axolotls are usually safe among fast little fish and other aquatic animals like shrimp because of their sluggish nature. And also being nocturnal, these animals are susceptible to intense light. They will thus seek refuge in the tank's shadows while the lights are on. In terms of their diet, just like other aquatic creatures featured on this channel, the axolotl needs specific foods to be healthy. The first step in feeding an axolotl is to acquire the proper meals, like invert aquatic soft pellets for axolotls. These are good for their health. Insects from the sea or brine shrimp are also their preferred meaty snacks. Feeding live mosquito larvae, bloodworms, sliced earthworms, beef strips, or even raw fish might be used in addition to the items above. But remember that feeding should be done in moderation to prevent uneaten food from degrading water quality. Apart from being peaceful, axolotls are also exceptionally delicate animals. Axolotls under stress are also more vulnerable to bacterial illnesses. Get advice immediately if you see any wounds on your pet or if they're frequently holding their gills further forward than usual, refusing to eat, or hiding a lot, because that's when you know they're stressed. Luckily, the other way you can avoid stressing your axolotls out is to build an axolotl-friendly aquarium to keep them healthy. How? Let me break down all the essential elements you must consider when setting up a tank for this oddly beautiful fish. But before going on to the topic, it would be awesome if you gave this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also opt to ring that notification bell to be informed of the latest videos we regularly have, just like what's on your screen. And now for the information you've all been waiting for. Let's learn how to set up a tank for your axolotls. Starting with the tank capacity. When it comes to tanks, axolotls don't require much. These may be put in nearly any tank, provided it has adequate floor area and a minimum size of roughly 20 gallons. However, axolotls produce a lot of waste, so you should be aware of this. Their water parameters will change dramatically in a tiny tank, eventually harming your axolotl's health. Larger tanks contain more water, therefore, water parameter changes will take longer. This makes maintaining the health of your pet axolotl simpler. That's why it's recommended for your baby axolotls to have a 10-gallon tank, but bear in mind that you'll soon need to increase. 
Your axolotl will have a high chance of living a long and healthy life if you can start with a larger tank. And since we're talking about tanks now, let's continue with their decorations. Care for axolotls includes offering enrichment and escapes. You can put decorations on your tank, but what are those? Well, here they are. First, the driftwood. For axolotl aquariums, driftwood without sharp edges works best. Both fascinating aquascapes and excellent hiding spots may be made. Plants like java fern and anubius nana may be grown on driftwood. With their roots exposed to the water, these plants love to cling to items like driftwood. Second, adding rocks. You should always include pebbles in your axolotl tank. You can stack river rocks to make caverns and tunnels that your axolotl can swim through and hide in. Furthermore, cichlid rocks make a fantastic complement. They are made up rocks with holes intended to serve as shelter. Third, plan their hides. They are particularly significant in planted aquarium tanks with additional illumination. Your axolotl can hide out in a friendly dark place while the aquarium lights are on. As axolotls are highly light sensitive, they will value this little break. Hides may be anything from ceramic pipes placed thoughtfully about the tank to an aquarium castle with tiny openings. Ensure your chosen hide has no sharp edges that might hurt your pet axolotl. Fourth, adding plants. An excellent option for an axolotl aquarium is live plants. These organisms generate a lot of waste, which the helpful bacteria in your tank convert into nitrates. These minerals work wonders as fertilizers for plants. Thus, removing extra nutrients from the water using living plants will improve the water's quality. When necessary, axolotls can also utilize them as a refuge. Another thing your axolotl's tank needs is substrate considerations. The majority of axolotl keepers frequently construct their tanks with an empty bottom. This makes it simple to maintain the tank clean, but it may impact your pet's health as bare bottom aquariums can stress axolotls. They dislike slipping on the tank's bottom and make it toe sores from the effort it takes to hang on. A tank with a bare bottom minimizes foraging behaviors like digging. The ideal substrate for axolotl aquariums is sand. To mimic their native foraging habits, axolotls like digging and sifting through the sand. It is advisable to avoid coarse or fine stone since if injected, this can result in issues like impaction, resulting in the death of your cherished pet. Now that we've done with the first three tank considerations, the next one is also essential. It's none other than the water parameters. If you're an aquarium hobbyist, you know the significance of routine water testing. You'll need an aquarium water test kit for this. Except for the temperature, this water test kit should give you an indication of what your water's properties are. To check that, you'll need a thermometer. See the list of typical axolotl water specifications right on your screen if you're curious. We already discussed water parameters. Let's proceed with the water temperature that axolotls need. You should know that your axolotl will get increasingly stressed as the water becomes warmer. Less oxygen is present in warmer water than in cooler water. Axolotls need a lot of oxygen to stay healthy. Thus, the aeration system has to be improved. The axolotl will become stressed and perish if it simply cannot adjust to the change or insufficient aeration. In an emergency, add ice cubes manufactured from water that have been treated and made fish safe. Install an aquarium heater to control the temperature if the water is too chilly. And also, for fish keepers, installing a thermometer will allow you to monitor the tank's temperature. The next consideration is the filtration system. Canister filters are fantastic since they can operate at lower water levels and don't produce the noise a power filter will cause when the water splashes out of the outlet. You can also use an internal filter, although given how much waste these creatures produce, you should oversize it. However, sponge filters are an excellent option for tanks with axolotls. In contrast to many other filters and pumps on the market, they provide a relatively modest flow. Sponge filters solve both issues at once by increasing aeration and oxygen levels. Watch your axolotl to see if your tank has too much flow. When your aquarium's flow is stressful, most axolotls hold their gills forward more than usual. Lighting is not essential in a tank, but has a significant impact, especially for your axolotls. Axolotls can survive in aquariums without any lights, according to amphibian aficionados. They like tanks without aquarium lighting. Because axolotls are nocturnal creatures, they will be most active at night or in low light that the room's exterior illumination provides. Choose plants with lower light needs, such as Anubius nana, cryptochromes, and java fern. If planted, tank lights are necessary for your aquarium for growing live plants. Floating plants are also a good compromise, as they will shade out light at lower levels of the tank. And last but one that significantly impacts your axolotls is tank mates. Axolotls don't get along with all animals well in tanks. I know it's sad, 
but fish tend to nibble at their feathery gills. Axolotls may readily attack sleeping fish for a fast meal because they're nocturnal creatures, which we don't want to see happen. Check out the following ideas on your screen if you're still unsure of what to put in the tank with your walking fish. All right, that's it for today's video. You now know what an axolotl is and the tank requirements they need. I have a strong feeling that you're ready to adopt one in your tank and let everyone see how awesome they are. However, I always remind you to install a sound filtration system and give your axolotl plenty of places to hide out because the more we give them a healthy tank, the more they will be healthy. Suppose you want to know how to cycle the axolotl's tank. In that case, for information on how to maintain the tank and what would happen if you had multiples of these gorgeous fish in one aquarium, you can visit our official website at AquariumStoreDepot.com, where most blogs are posted about the axolotls and other stats on their potential tank mates. I hope you've learned a lot from this video, and continue climbing on top of being the best fish keeper you can be. Like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and soon we'll see each other again. Thanks for watching.